Welcome Capricorn. Okay, so we are going to get a message for you using the postcards from Spirit. Whispers of Healing. I'll show Zen Tarot. Okay. Let's have a look. See Capricorn. What has Spirit got to say to you? Oh, that was quick. They've been busting to speak with you. Capricorn. Sorry, let me show you. Alrighty. Dearest you, as you think, so will you experience life. Thoughts are that powerful and they need minding. Let the unruly chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet, the real truth is that, essentially, all is well. Of course, you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. Those are the ones we want you to keep thinking, and they have a less fran frantic quality. They are stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them, love yourself, and then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. That's awesome. That's really good. And that's something that does come up in these readings a lot, you know, about the thoughts and our mindset and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let's have a look further into this, though. Let's have a look further into this. That didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Right. Capricorn, tell me more. Okay, we've got two cards come out here. Guardian. Oh, oh, I like this. I like this. Do you know what? I feel like this is sort of like a great sort of visual of, of you being the guardian, the ship actually holding the thoughts here and you deciding which thoughts you want to invite off the ship and come and attend your tea party or whatever, right? on what, what thoughts you would like to leave on the ship to sail away, okay? Um, and, and, you know, what I love about that too, that message, is that you're not, you're not um, judging or being nasty to the thoughts that are coming up because, you know, this, this is something that takes practice to do, to master, right? Because, you know, living so long, your entire life potentially of, thinking thoughts that aren't serving you, um, it's it's going to take practice to change those, okay? Honestly, I remember in my 20s, I heard myself one day and I thought, oh my gosh, everything I say is negative. I had actually nothing positive to say. And, and I just started to really notice that every time I spoke, it was negative. And so I made a decision at that point that when I spoke, it was only going to be positive. And, you know, for quite a while, I really had nothing to say because it was always this negative coming out. And, um, and it just felt like such a natural thing. And when you really think about it, Capricorn, even babies, when they need something, they cry, right? They're not laughing, they're crying to let, you know, the parents know that they need what something, you know, but they can't voice it. And so it's kind of automatic for us to go to that as a default sometimes. This is what I feel like. I, I sometimes feel like 
we need to really teach ourselves to be positive. But you know, what I would say to you, Capricorn, is really look at your emotions. What are you feeling? And that will be an indication as to what you are thinking because your thoughts create an emotion. So if you're feeling uneasy or anxious or you know, annoyed or angry or irritated, whatever. If it's a negative feeling, um, you know that you're probably thinking something negative. But do that with your positive feelings as well. You know, what are you thinking that's uplifting you so that you can start to do that more? Okay, totality. Yeah, this is, I feel like for some of you, you, it's always this feeling of like, I almost get there, but I never quite make it. This is about the story that you tell, you know, and um, and what is it that is stopping you from actually getting to where you want to go? Because it's sort of like reaching for something, but never quite making that connection in a sense. Okay, the other thing with this card here, um, sorry, not the other thing, this is a new card, um, is there's this, I think it's important for you to look at everything, okay, so look at your environment, look at your thoughts, look at your emotions, look at your words, look at everything around you to see how all of those things are actually um, part and parcel of, um, you know, what is going on for you. If you look at your external environment, you know, because sometimes we can be like, oh yeah, just, you know, make sure you focus on your thoughts. But sometimes that can be really hard to do because it's such a natural thing for our mind to just go and go and go, especially if we're inclined to overthink. So you could start by looking at other things in your life, your external environment, your emotions, you know, what is going on around you, the people around you and what they're talking about. Are they also contributing to this as well? All those sorts of things so that you can begin to pinpoint why it is that that's happening or where it's coming from or what is contributing to it. OK, so I feel like also, sorry one moment please I haven't quite finished I feel like this is going to the, be a bit of a beginning of a transition in your life by really focusing on what is going on here because as you do that you'll become more and more aware but please 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 Capricorn do not beat yourself up about it okay understand there is room for change and you're willing to do that by focusing on what needs changing okay progress yes give yourself when when you start doing this if you haven't already give yourself a pat on the back for the progress that you make during that time if you catch yourself even once a day with a negative thought and you change that around pat yourself on the back give yourself some credit go yes because it's one more than what you did yesterday you know so and and just notice the change and how you feel when you do that okay the master yes this is you mastering you you actually mastering this internal part of yourself that you have control over and it may not appear like you do but in fact you do okay this is the beginning of you mastering your entire being okay we have the two of cups here yes and um i feel like this here is representing you um, bringing people in who are going to match this positivity to you who are, you know if you think of someone positive in your life who might actually really annoy you by the way um, because they are so positive but if you look at that um, because there's also an energy about them right there's an air about them and um you know, this could be something that, you know, if you imagine having that, how uplifting that would be to live like that, that um, you can draw on that and start to blend that into your life so that that can become your experience. OK, so let's have a look. Next card for Capricorn. Boundaries. Oh, OK. Yep. Boundaries. And I feel like this. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Capricorn, this is boundaries for yourself. This could be boundaries for your mind. You may set boundaries like you would a child. No, we're not thinking that today. One thought, pick one thought that you won't, don't want to think. Maybe it's a repetitive thought that goes over and over and over like a broken record in your mind. So maybe it's a matter of sort of treating your mind as a separate entity from yourself and going, listen, listen up, sunshine. We're not going to be thinking that thought today. And every time you think that thought and practice it, pick any thought, you know, practice it. And every time you think that thought, you'll become aware of it because you've focused on it. Okay. And you just put those boundaries up and say, thank you. No, thank you. You know, this is really, your, it's a matter of viewing your thoughts as, as a person, right? Each thought is a person, let's say. And you're going to look at that person, that thought, and go, do I want to sit down and have a cup of tea with you today? Actually, do you know what? No, I don't. And then you do that with your thoughts and then you come across a positive thought and you go, oh, come on in. Come and sit down and have a cup of tea. You know, because it's about you deciphering what it is that you want to invite into your life and what you don't in the way of thoughts. Okay, so. Okay. What have we got? Excellent. Okay, love it. Uh, we have silence here. This is you silencing your mind. Okay. It it's, takes practice. Yes, it does. Have a look on YouTube. There's heaps of meditations that you can do to silence the mind. Okay. And um, and then this allows a clean slate. The next thought that comes in. What's the thought that comes in automatically when you hear silence your mind? Can't do that. Negative. What about, it's possible, I could give it a go. That's a different energy. Feel the difference in that energy there. I can't do that too. It's possible. I could give it a go. Because it is possible. Okay. And this is going to lead to a breakthrough. Because I feel like some of you may feel quite caged in by your mind. And um, and I just wonder if this is something that you want to break through. But you've never quite known how. And, um, and I'm sure your mind right now is maybe having a bit of a conniption because it's like yeah right <laughs> you can't do that you can't silence me you know because this this mind is also this ego at play you know and um and it doesn't want to be under threat so you may find just like a child it's going to play up even more as you begin this process of replacing these thoughts because you know it's a bit like a person if someone came along and said I don't want you anymore. I'm going to replace you with this better thing. You're going to feel rejected, right? So this is the thing about being gentle about it. Be gentle with the thoughts in the sense of don't beat yourself up. Don't beat them up. Okay. Um, they've been created for a reason. And um, maybe once upon a time, it was that they might have protected you or whatever, but they're not serving you. So it's time to take a new route okay and let the thoughts know you won't forget about them because you don't want to forget about them because you don't want to think them <laughs> so um if you forget about them they might creep back in and you won't even be in, aware of it you know so yeah just yeah this is this is quite an, an interesting message actually because when i read the card i'm like i don't even know what could possibly come through about this but here we are okay awareness yeah yeah being aware of all these all these little compartments in your mind where these this these thoughts reside because they're there they're waiting they're waiting to come out and let them let them come out have a look at them you know this is the thing right don't be afraid of them i suppose work with them let them come out see where they've cut come from have the the compassion the understanding the caring the love for them you know it could be that maybe you were brought up being told that you're ugly or that you're dumb okay 
and maybe that's always been in your mind that oh yuck you know when you look in the mirror or you can't do that you're stupid you know and so understand that that's um that's healing that needs to be done for that inner child who experienced that okay even as an adult you may have experienced things you know we have the inner adult that also needs healing too so yeah because look in the middle there there's the little baby so this has been going on for a really long time right this is actually sort of um being aware of these things that do come up because they may just be so second nature to you that you're not even aware they're there but they are impacting your life and they're sort of um impacting the timeline that you're on and I feel like some of you want to a shift in your in your circumstances or your life and and to move that timeline and go in another direction but you can't work out why you keep coming back to the same cycle or the same pattern and it could very well be the thoughts that are going on in your mind okay so I would definitely definitely take the advice from spirit that they are giving you here to change that for yourself okay sharing okay okay yeah 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 um so this here capricorn is really looking at if you look at you one thought that you have like a seed okay that you would plant into a garden if that thought is negative for example you're stupid right if you were to plant that it's going to grow a tree of your stupid that's all you're gonna it's like as if it a tree could speak right you're going to hear that rustling in the wind you're stupid you're stupid you're stupid you're stupid right okay if that seed were to be replaced with you're not stupid you you know okay let's counteract that so every time you have a thought you think the opposite of that you counteract it with you're not stupid and you do that three times you're not stupid you're not stupid okay so that's one thing but you're planting a seed of maybe for example you're intelligent okay and you grow that tree with you're intelligent you're intelligent you see the difference here you're going to get this this growth of positivity that you're going to be other able to share with others it's going to be something that others are going to want going to want to partake in what i'm trying to say is that you're planting a garden or a, an orchard full of trees that are worth sharing, okay? They're going to produce the fruits that you need to be nurtured, okay? Um, so, yeah, really important to look at where that is leading you, where the thoughts are leading you, okay, in your life. Projections, yep. See, this could be thoughts that have been projected onto you, by other people and also listen to your own words too and what you're projecting onto other people because if you are even in your thoughts if you're thinking negatively about other people it's generally because you think negatively about yourself so always turn it around to go how you know because the mind doesn't know that you're thinking about someone else like that you may actually think super positively about yourself and really negatively about other people but your mind doesn't really know uh, you know your body receives the messages from the mind out about everything you think okay so if you're thinking negatively about other people this negativity is what your body is receiving if you have um certain physical ailments that you can't work out why are there why they are there then you may very well be um they could be a result of your thinking so be really aware of that okay um yeah you know and the fact of the matter is we have a choice of what it is that we think it's not set in stone our mind doesn't rule us it might feel like it does but in fact it doesn't Okay, so we really need to, Capricorn, we really need to make sure that we are uh, 
in control. We are in control because this is what happens, right? As we release these thoughts, as we release these emotions that are created by our thoughts, okay, we can do some real harm here. Not just to ourselves, but to others as well, right? You can bring someone down with words, man. You know, there was, there's an old saying from when we were young, of sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. What a load of crock. That is a load of crock. Honestly, words can be so damaging, especially when they're repeated over and over and over. Okay, so um, this is very important to be aware of. Okay, so tell me more about release for Capricorn, please. I love that. Okay. First card here is the miser. Holding out. Holding out. Building walls. This is building walls around yourself. I wonder if this um these this particular way of thinking for you is um something that you've done to protect yourself in a sense, but it's not protecting yourself anymore. It's changed you. There's been some sort of change in you. And we've got clinging to the past as well. And I feel like for some of you that there's, it's kind of like you've got, what is this? What is this? It's like you're hiding the jewels within. You, it's there's sort of like within you is is something really valuable, and it's hidden. It's hidden by these this thought pattern or this way of thinking. I I also wonder if for some of you there's there's a talent inside of you. I keep seeing someone maybe with knowledge inside of them that needs to be brought forth, but potentially you don't believe that it's worth it. You're, it's worth, well, not worth anything, but it's you don't believe it's valuable when in fact it is. You can feel it inside of you, you and you want to share it, but there's these thoughts that get in the way of going, you can't do that. Who do you think you are? No one's going to want to hear that. Everyone's going to put you down. They're going to think you're stupid. And what about all those people who, you know, from your past, who are going to absolutely berate you for it? You know, there's all these things that are holding you back from actually expressing the truth of who you are. And, um, yeah. I feel like... Capricorn that that happened once upon a time where these things that people did say to you had an impact on you and those people may not even be in your life anymore but the beliefs and the thoughts that were instilled into you are now your choice as to whether you continue to allow them to rule your life or not um, you can you can take this box off your head because I feel like it's actually blocking you from seeing yourself clearly. It's blocking you from seeing the truth of who you are in a sense. And the truth of who you are is this precious gem. And there's this precious gem inside of you. Buried way, way, way down deep. Hidden by all this negativity. Hidden by these projections. Okay. And... Um, I don't know if you've forgotten that it's there. I'm not sure you have. I think you're aware that it's there. But it's been buried for so long you don't even know where to begin to bring it out. And this is the beginning of it. This is how you do it. Yeah. This is how you do it. Okay Capricorn, so what else have we got?
receive healing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you need to get some assistance with this, you can do so. Okay, you can call on spirit to come and help you because they have your back. They're sending this message to you for a reason. Okay, you're listening to this for a reason. So they have your back. They're there for you. Okay, if you need to get counseling or any other kind of assistance to help you through this, you could even ask for assistance when you sleep, you know, just protect yourself and ask for your guides to bring the healing through that you need. This could also be um, healing that you need to do in your past, from your past, okay, um, in order to help you change that direction of um, where you're going by changing those thoughts because if this is something that was abusive um, then definitely you will need some sort of assistance to help heal that okay very important and really important also to understand that you're worth receiving that healing that you don't have to live like this for the rest of your life um, that there is help out there for you and um, yeah, you're deserving of that, right? Comparison, yeah. See, this is looking at how everyone else is, how everyone else's life is playing out and, and why isn't yours playing out like that kind of thing? You know, why? Like, you know, but I want to say that your life is just as crucial as the next. It's like there are these two trees here, these two tree trunks, right? and um, bamboo and this tree trunk here both of them serve their purpose in different ways they're from the same family of trees they're trees right but they serve different purposes and it's the same for you you have a different purpose in this life for some of you you may actually be trying to follow a path that's not yours that you've been told to go on and it might not be working for you, and it might not feel comfortable, and you may absolutely despise it. Um, and you're wondering why, when all these other people loved it, they loved it, why aren't I? Well, it's just not your calling. It's not why you came here, and it's okay to divert and go in another direction. You know, these thoughts could be holding you back from doing that. You know, this could be what this clinging from the past is about. You know, it could be protecting the the lineage of the family you know and um and it's okay to to actually divert and go in another direction if you choose that of course you know but there's something that you're battling and I feel like this could be um internally as well okay and this here leads to this new beginning of growing something that is going to be your legacy. It's going to be permanent. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be 100% worth it. And you are going to love it and adore it. So Capricorn, there's, this is quite powerful for you to begin to really, if you haven't already, for you to begin to really be aware first and foremost of what is going on in here okay if you're not sure what direction you want to go in drop your thoughts from your mind into your heart silence your mind and let your heart speak because this is where the truth resides the truth of who you are this is where the master resides okay so let, let that have a voice you know yeah Okay, so let's address this again, hey? Dearest you, as you think, so will you experience. Thoughts are that powerful that they need minding. Let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth yet the real truth is that essentially all is well of course you have thoughts that are positive strong organ organized accepting creative open and so on 
Those are the ones that we want you to keep thinking. And they have a less frantic quality. They're stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them, love yourself, and then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. Awesome. Okay, Capricorn, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.